I think maybe people are waiting for me to have a heart attack and die and they'll blame it on the meat. That's not happening. I've been doing a very high fat version of carnivore. I personally do not enjoy fasting. I feel our bodies are driven to be fed. I sailed through menopause. I have no problems with hot flashes. My libido is awesome. You can be almost 58, flipping cartwheels and eat this way and not be dying. Sail through menopause with loads of butter and no fasting. This is part two of my interview with 13-year carnivore Dr. Lisa Wiedemann. Part one is linked right here. We spoke about carnivore and eye health. Today, we discuss specifically why high fat is so important, especially for women going through menopause and why fasting might not be right for you. I'm also coming out with a high fat carnivore meal plan with one stick of butter next week. So if you want to check it out, make sure you subscribe. An issue that a lot of women suffer with is menopause symptoms. And I know that you are 58 years old and thriving. How did carnival help with your menopause symptoms? I really feel like I sailed through menopause. I just went through menopause from about 54 to 56. I, I have no problems with hot flashes. I sleep well at night. My libido is awesome. Like I have no problems. So I think because I was... 10 years prior, <laughs> fully carnivore and eating a high fat, really just totally meat-based diet. When you eat, you know, ancestrally, like we were intended to eat, our body is going to function the way it was intended to function. And I don't believe women were intended to be suffering, sweating. Everything that I, I hear happens with people that are miserable with it. Again, this is one of those things where I say everything gets better with this. You can't just say, well, and then, and now it's just like you're saying, well, well, does, does women's hormones, like is, is the whole menopause issue get better? Yes. Everything. everything. When we get our body healthy, we eat fatty meat. And I, I try to promote people to not just come to this as I'm going to eat all the meat I want and go about life, but make sure you try to get in a pretty high percentage of fat because, and I, I do believe ancestrally, that's what we, we should be doing. And I've been doing a very high fat version of carnivore in the past, like four months and feeling really better than ever. My glucose numbers are nice and low. Um, because I think I became quite a meat junkie. I was eating lots of meat, a pound for meal one, another pound, pound and a quarter meal two. I'm only five, three. I can really pack it away though. I can pack away a pound of ground beef for a meal easily, and then go out to eat. And easily I could, I can, I can get down a, another pound, pound and a quarter ribeye, New York strip, like no problem, but it's too much protein. It really is with not enough fat. So I've just scaled it back to make my diet a moderate protein, high fat. I eat butter. I eat pork fat cracklings. I eat beef trimmings that I get from for free from a local barbecue restaurant. They trim brisket every day. And the guy says, yeah, anytime you want, let me know. I'll save it up for you. So, I mean, I can literally eat for free if I wanted. So it's interesting, the high fat, but why is that important for women going through menopause? High fat is healthy for hormones in general and healthy for just our health in general. Like I, I don't think it's specifically just for women, but for sure, it's really important for home, hormonal health, whether it's thyroid and or regarding estrogen, progesterone and menopause, you know, some people do as far as a macro, they'll do fine with 70, 30, 70% by calories, fat and 30% by calories, the protein I'm playing around with. Sometimes I go 90, 10. When you say 90% fat, that doesn't mean that you're eating just loads and sticks of butter. Well, yeah, sometimes it does. Really? Um, yeah. Wow. So I, I do browned butter. I have a thing on my YouTube channel. It's amazing. So I, I, I browned butter and I put it into these little silicone candy molds and I freeze them and I eat them directly out of the freezer. Um, salted butter like that is delicious. I have some fancy sea salt French butter in my refrigerator and I will just you know, put chunks of that right onto my plate with my eggs or my ground beef. And I mean, chunks, I'm talking about four to six tablespoons that I eat with my meal. The difficult thing at the beginning is most people cannot just jump into that high fat because you'll get what we call disaster pants. <laughs> you'll get some GI distress. Um, 
And, and then people say, and I have people in my groups that don't have a gallbladder. So everybody's going to want to write in and say, oh, I can't do that. I don't have a gallbladder. It can work just fine. There's ancillary things that your body does to make up for not having that bile for the fat. And you might just have to have four smaller meals rather yeah. than two bigger meals and be able to be fine. That's it's what I counsel a lot of women that are just starting carnival, whether they're going through menopause or anything, and really to get in the high fat or start transitioning to high fat is really to stop fasting and start doing three meals a day just to get used to eating enough and eating enough fat. Do you think that fasting for women is a good idea? You know what, Rena, that is such a controversial topic because you'll get these big influencers that are like fasting is the way to go and intermittent fasting is what you need to do. And then this side says, no, don't fast. Fasting ruins, you know, crash your hormones and your adrenals and your cortisol. And no, fasting's good. It's good for autophagy. No, don't fast, you know? So my, my personal take on it, it's all, that's all I really can give is that I personally do not enjoy fasting. I feel our bodies are driven to be fed. And when you shut that down and ignore that, um, certain things happen. Yeah. I do think there's a benefit to closing your eating window, maybe eat the first meal at 10 AM and then the last meal at three or 4 PM and then go until the next day. I mean, that's technically fasting, but in my mind, fasting is like 24, 48, 72 hours. These people do this like twice a month, once a week. Some people do alternate day fasting. Now getting through menopause can be so difficult and that's why a high fat carnival diet can especially help. But did you know that you can also melt fat and also build muscle on a high fat carnival diet? Coach Bronson and I are launching the 60 day fat loss program. It's gonna teach you step-by-step step how to lose fat, optimize your hormones and build muscle for strength and longevity on a carnival diet. This program is not just about fat loss, it's going to help you with your sleep your thyroid and so much more the entire program starts at january 13th you can get a 30 percent discount using the link below i hope to see you there i think that along with the fasting people think that fasting is healing so i need to purposely fast to get to my healing results but you need to get fat adapted and actually overnourish your body so that your body knows hey i'm not starving yeah and and one of the really awesome things about this high fat ketogenic ketosis state. So I'm not talking about eating a keto diet, which in, I mean, but there's nothing to me, you can have avocado, you can have some olives. There's certain things that I'm a okay with as far as that. But in general, to me, when people hear keto, they're like, Oh, keto cookies, keto pancakes, keto brownies, keto treats, whatever. And like, all that is garbage. That's all commercialized money-making crap. So, but when I'm talking about ketosis and ketogenic, I'm talking about being a carnivore, you can get into ketosis by doing this high fat, moderate protein. And it's fasting mimicking at that point, it's actually mimicking as if you were fasting, because I can get ketones up over 1.5 by and eating two or three times a day. You don't have to fast to do that. So that's what's been crazy awesome about getting more and more people on board with doing a higher fat, lower protein. You can actually not go hungry. You don't have to starve. You don't have to feel uncomfortably hungry and get yourself into a state where it's, like I said, it's fasting mimicking. You're getting many benefits of the fasting without actually depriving yourself of food. So how would you help women that are going through menopause, that terrible hot flushes, cannot sleep? How would you get them to go to carnival and start feeling good? Well, <laughs> interesting question because here's the here's the here's the reply to that. How overweight are you? How insulin resistant are you? How messed up are your cortisol and adrenal hormones? How is your activity level? Do you get outside? How many years have you been diabetic or hypertensive? So you can't really put a number on like, oh yeah, switch to this and you'll feel great within two or three months. You know what? It doesn't happen that way. You have to, you have to jump in with confidence of what you're hearing that this is the path to optimal health. 
Mm -hmm. And you should be able to climb mountains at the age of 70, not be crippled by, you know, knee pain and hypertension and obesity. You should be able to do anything and everything you want to do, but you have to be consistent and do it long enough. When I say consistent, there's so many people like, well, can I have a cheat meal? Can I have, you know, it's like, you know what? A cheat meal ends up as a cheat day, ends up as a cheat weekend, ends up as a cheat month. And then it ends up of like, well, I might as well wait until after the holidays, Mm -hmm. right? And then next thing you know, you're back in that inflamed, put on some weight and, you know, here we go again. And and then you got to start from square one. So it's just really important to stay consistent and start looking at the benefits that you're getting along the way. Maybe you don't have that ultimate, like maybe your sleep's not great yet, but maybe you're like, oh, wow, I slept six hours straight last night. Okay. And then maybe have a couple bad nights. This is not linear. This is not something where you just do it and it's going to work. It takes time. And for sure, it takes at least three months to fully fat adapt when you're going into this higher fat version of carnivore. But, you know, for people that aren't even carnivore yet, kind of have to ease your way into it and expect that this is at least, you know, (laughs) people, people say, all right, I'm going to give it a 30 day challenge. I'm going to do it for 30 days. Well, you're really not going to know a whole heck of a lot in 30 days. I say, you know, you've been eating, you know, donuts, ice cream, cookies, pizza, pasta for how many decades. And now you think 30 day window is going to give you the idea. And a lot of times people do it and go, oh, I couldn't do it. I had no energy. This isn't for me. This must not be for everybody. Well, know what? That's your little addictive brain saying, you know what? Plow back into that bread, buddy. Let's go. You want it. You know, you want it. This isn't for you. And people don't stick it out long enough. I say you really need to do it a minimum of 90 days Hmm. and then make an evaluation. I I keep saying, suck it up buttercup and do it. You know, (laughs) if you want to make a change, you got to do it. And I'm not saying it's easy. I'm, I'm not, I'm saying you have to always have a plan in place. If you're going, if you're heading out and you're going to a family event or you're going out to socially eat with friends, or you're going to be in a work environment where you're expected to host a dinner, have a plan, know what you're going to do, even eat, eat a, eat a burger before you go so that you're not in that. All right, what am I going to eat? Well, this is all they have. So I might as well don't be like that. Have a plan have, and then know that you can come back and eat too. You don't have to put anything in your mouth that you don't want to, even if people say, Oh, but aunt Sally made this pie for you. And this is your favorite. It's like, ah, you know what? I don't feel good anymore. When I eat that, that's all you have to say to somebody, you know what? That doesn't make me feel good. And, And then nobody can come back and deny you what you just said. No, that's okay. Have it anyway. You just told them you don't feel good with it. Right. Mm -hmm. Or say, that's okay. You know, wait, you used to eat that. I know. And I, now I learned that I really don't feel good when I eat that end of story. And you don't owe anybody an explanation at all. And you can just simply say, you know, some people come to me and say, are you still doing that meat eating thing? And I'll go, yeah. And I feel better than ever. Addictions love isolation. They really do. And community is the opposite of addiction. Also my, my slant on it is from my background of the addiction. And I know you have listeners who are trying to get off that stuff and they can't why they're addicted to it. And unless you really, it's not like you have to go into AA for this, but seriously, it's, it's close to it. It's, it's a serious addiction. You know, you can be almost 58 flipping cartwheels and eat this way and not be dying, not have heart problems. Our bodies are meant to be healthy. And yeah, I, I think maybe people are waiting for me to have a heart attack and die and they'll blame it on the meat, but (laughs) so far that's not happening. Well, Lisa, you are so inspirational to all of us. How can we find you? So I'm mainly on Instagram and I have a YouTube channel that I I'm going to work more and more on, but thank you so much for having me. And um, I I welcome anybody. uh, Carnivore doctor 2020 at Gmail is my 
email, you can reach out there. Wonderful. Thank you so much. And I'm sure that we're going to see you again. Now, that was an amazing interview with Dr. Lisa Wiedemann, especially how high fat can help with absolutely everything. She'll be joining us next year on our 30 day monthly challenges, along with the 60 day fat loss program that's going to help you lose fat and build muscle and optimize all of your hormones. I'll leave a link right here so you can join. See you there.